What's up guys, Tete Mystics back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you with your Asus RG Ally how to download games from the Steam app on the Xbox app onto your external SSD and your micro SSD. Now let's begin. First, with the micro SSD. You're going to put it in the micro SSD slot of the Asus ROG Ally. Like that. Now we recognize it. So let's go into the Steam app. In the Steam app, you're going to make sure that you hit the Steam button up here. Hit Steam. Next, you're going to hit Settings. In the Settings, you're going to go to Storage. Because I already did it before, so I'm just going to remove it to show you guys. So, usually when you put it in for the first time, you're just going to see this plus sign right here. So in order for you to add your micro SSD, you're going to hit the plus. It's going to say add a new Steam library folder. You hit add. Now, with a micro SSD, with external SSD like this, you want to make sure that you get a very powerful type C cord. So you connect it to the external. Then you're going to connect it on into the USB type C port of this Asus RG Ally. And it recognizes it because I did it before. So let me just go out here and do it like normal. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to remove it. So it's going to be the same process. You're going to hit the plus button again. You're going to add. Now you have all three storage options to your disposal. So you can go out here. And you want to hit install. Now you have the option to save your games on the micro SSD or your external SSD. That's pretty simple, right? Okay, this is where it kind of get a little tricky. So what you're going to do right here for the for the Xbox app. When I hit inst install, you're going to see where it says um, ex to change. We'll install this game to a new folder in the selected location. So you hit change. Are you going to have the external right there ready to go? Are you wondering where is the micro SSD? Now this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So because the, 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 uh, the micro SSD is not recognized, what you're going to do you're going to go hit the start button and in the search you're going to type in disk management once you type in disk management it's going to pop up as create and format hard disk partition so you want to select that and then we look right here down the bottom it's going to see right here unallotted for the micro ssd so you want to hold it press it down then you want to make sure that you hit new simple volume And then right here in, in the welcome to the new simple volume wizard you want to make sure you hit next and hit next again and it's going to assign of you're going to assign a drive letter it assigned e for me so all you got to do is hit next then you're going to hit next again then you're going to hit finish and then you're going to create a folder for it So I'm just going to call it new folder just for the sake of the video. Alright, so everything is set. The only difference is I didn't have much storage on my micro SSD. So you don't want to see that right here, but it's already fixed. So you can see right there, it's all good to go. So in this sense, I just call it new folder just for the sake of the video. So you can see I have all three storage options for your Xbox app. So you can download games on all three storage options if you want. And the same thing goes for the Steam. Got all three storage options available to you. Alright, that was pretty simple. This is Tech Mystics. Thanks for tuning in. You already know the deal. Subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.